Drew? Yeah. You've been on a quest lately. I have. You recently came to the, the first, I was going to call it the conclusion, but it's really just, it's kind of the, the first checkpoint mm -hmm. and a new beginning. Mm, that's right. Um, so you're about to leave us for a few weeks here on some vacation to recoup and get ready for further adventures. Uh, uh, yes, in the world, the universe, the storied yeah. canon of Metal Gear Solid. Yes. And uh, they put this out. You haven't seen much of this. We, uh, can we, we can say we yeah, shot yeah, yeah, we, just... we shot a thing today. I think it's going up uh, late tonight or early tomorrow. Uh, where we're kind of bridging the seasons of Metal Gear Scanlan or whatever, okay. to where the whole point of Metal Gear Scanlan was to him to play the series the way everyone else did, in order and everything. But the way we all did it is we, we got super excited about the Metal Gear trailer at E3 and everything. So we, we watched the Metal Gear Solid 2 E3 2000 and 2001 trailer, uh, and we actually watched Twin Snakes too. So we watched a lot of those cinematics. So he's seen okay, a lot of yeah. the cinematics, he's not seen any of the gameplay type stuff. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to fire up a little... It sings, you just have to hit reset on it. Yeah, because it's already running a game. You just need to, yeah, there you go. Uh, so yeah, that'll be a bonus episode of Metal Gear Scanlon going up yeah. tonight or tomorrow morning cool. or something like that. So, but you have not played Metal Gear Solid Twin yes, Snakes. I have not. That was a super, like, behind the back, real sly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just trying to... That roaring king of Frost yeah. talk. Oh. Mm. I do uh, that a lot. I know. Yeah, but you got to knock that off, man. Mm-hmm. I try to keep it down. That was pretty subtle. Okay. I, no, I, I'm, I'm legitimately a fan. I'm not <laughs> starting up shit. <clears throat> so you've got a Wii. Yep. Man, look yep. at this interface. I have a Wii. It's pretty much the exact same as the Wii U one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is the everybody you say so? Channel. <laughs> that's oh. a voting. That's for voting. Is there a sensor bar? Is this, did the sensor bar automatically turn off because Perhaps. it is set on a timer? That automatically turns off. Go vote. I remember getting myself I think excited. I know, that's why I want him to go vote. <laughs> I got excited about the news channel and the forecast Ooh. channel stuff when I first started. I was like, well, this would be a cool, fun way to get my like news and weather like when I first yep, started on. What a cool, fun thing. Yep. Uh, uh, this yeah. is going to ask to connect to the internet, and you're not going to be able to. Fun polls. Oh, you don't even have it. Downloaded. Participate in fun polls. I love fun polls. The Check Me Out channel takes way too many blocks, I remember. Yeah. Locks. I think I Locks. voted like six times, five times, and I was just went like, what am I doing? Yeah, what delete this channel immediately. Yeah. I probably still left it installed, but. <laughs> GameCube. I really like the GameCube discs. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice. They're teensy. Mm -hmm. Do you remember, have you ever seen a like business card size disc? Yeah. It's basically like a GameCube disc. Oh, yeah. Top the and bottom. Cut it's got the curved edges. So it's like still. roughly credit or like business card yeah. size. Mm -hmm. And it'll fit right in the inner part of that tray or whatever. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. It's weird. All right, here we go. Should we watch the opening cutscene, too? Uh, of course. Silicon okay. Knights. That's right. Dennis Dyack's picture is on the wall in the Psycho Manus fight. Oh. Okay. And he laughs. Yeah. It does laugh. Yeah. If you look at it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I don't need to say, I'm not going to die. This is not yeah, part of yeah. Metal Gear Scanlan uh, canon. No, either, no, no. So, yeah. This, is, this exists outside. This is a retcon. I remember this, so, like, I remember this actually turning out to be dumb. Like, it, it was something that people were, like, yeah. looking forward to at the time. Like, oh, man, they got this anime director to do all the cutscenes. Uh -huh. And then when it came out, everyone played it. They were like, actually, this sort of sucks. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, uh you it wouldn't was, like it. The gameplay... It's stupid. It's stupid and over, a over the top in a really dumb way. Mm. I don't but know. dumb in a way like not normal Metal Gear awesome dumb. It's just kind of dumb dumb like, hey, we saw the Matrix, now here, here's some stuff. Like, lots of backflipping bullets and cutting bullets in half and... I mean, that sounds silly cool. stuff. Don't no, you don't do that in Metal Gear. Metal Gear is grounded in reality. So. It's a gritty military yes. Over Although he just saw the Metal Gear 2 trailer, so I forgot yeah, in those trailers. Gritty. You hear Liquid Snake's voice. You can tell Ocelot's arms doing some funky stuff. Um, oh, so they start they start talking about that stuff. Huh? They show uh, the Cyborg Ninja coming in. Yeah, so Sorry. this is straight up the Rock <laughs> music <laughs> right now. It's Francis X Hummel from Outer Heaven. Yes. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Baker. Oh, Armstack, that's a good company, I think. Probably yeah, Armstack. In no way. Yeah. Hey, Naomi. Doing anything they make orphanages. No, they're yeah. on the up. 
and stop the actual 3D model Naomi. What's the insertion method? Haha. <laughs> we'll oh, of course. By some. Yeah. Up, up top. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, bridge the gap for us. No. Come on. Uh, I was going to say that was the first time they ever modeled Naomi Hunter, but then I remembered uh, in, I think, the VR missions or some Japanese release, they had a bonus VR mode where you just took Kirby pictures of Mei Ling and Naomi. Oh, right. Yeah. No. That's like the only yep. reason they modeled them. Yeah. I mean, they did that. You know, on the Saturn in Japan, there was like the Virtua Fighter discs that I want to say were just kind of that. There were yeah. character specific discs that were a little weird. Yeah. I think it's feasible, Drew, shooting a guy in a submarine. Torpedo too. Shooting them, they used to, um, and they may still. Uh, I know you can ingress and egress with yeah. like Navy the propeller seals, things. Navy SEALs actually go in and out of torpedo mm -hmm. tubes. Crazy. You um, piss, he helps. With his powerful yes. Remember? Yeah. Michael Bynes? <laughs> the Rock? Michael Bean. Bean. Some weird I always said Michael Bynes. I think it's Bean. I used to send Michael Bynes a letter. Bean. Bean. Like Bean. 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 Trying to get autographs. He Bean. was the Bean. Kyle Reese in the first Terminator. Uh -huh. He was in The Rock yep. briefly. The Abyss. Uh, Abyss. Abyss. In yeah. every James Cameron movie he's in, he gets bitten on the hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who bites him in Terminator? In charge of them. Sarah. Fox yeah, please Sarah does. When they're in the car, he's like, stop that, that hurts. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You can zoom in on the cutscenes with the shoulder. I'm told. I don't know. Yeah, it should be. Oh, yeah. And oh you can God. move around with one of the sticks. The C stick, yeah. And, and two, you can do this as well. Oh, look at this. This is cool. This is all new. <laughs> I So, this is probably the one that I can recognize the differences the most. Because I, when we're setting up in there, this is just on loop because it's the attract mode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. That's why you're a giant and shaman like yeah, 8,000 times. Yeah, giant and shaman. And I got angry every time. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you're mishearing that. Nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by Kodak after you reach your target. Michael Bean also was in Tombstone. That's yeah, he was. Movie. Yes, that's right. It's this a very is good a movie. One man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. He was in something recently, I want to say. Mm. Yes, he played like a small town sheriff or something, I want to say. He was also in a game, I think, recently, a voice actor. Yes, he was in a Park Cry 3 Blood Dragon. There's no uh, reason he, he couldn't have been holding oh. a couple of guns in that torpedo tube. Yeah. This did not have to be weapon and weapons and equipment OSP. It would look cooler if he burst out in the water with two guns. Yeah, yeah. But exactly. Actually, really actually changed the color. Oh man, he also was, of course, in Aliens: Colonial Marines, but That's we don't right. really talk too much about it. What? Oh about that. yeah. So intrusion mode is when you're like going through vents and stuff, and you're crawling like under tanks God, and things yes, like that. Yes. For God, yeah, that was a Metal Gear Two option. Yeah, it's, intrusion mode is isn't that that's like part of the guard reset and stuff. Isn't it? You're thinking of like evasion. <coughs> yeah, you know, okay, evasion yeah. alert. Oh, yeah, Intrusion, yeah. I think, is when you're pumping through vents mm. and stuff. And nor sometimes it won't show the radar. Okay. Now, 3 was one that came out and then they put in the extra camera later on, yeah, right? Yes, it made it a billion times better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I attempted to fix it. MGS3 is a fantastic game. Yeah, I think that's going to be Drew's favorite. Oh, if he's going to play Hi. it like other people play it, he should probably just skip 3 completely. <laughs> people skip 3? Oh, it's, yeah. a, it's analog. Did you skip three? Fuck Metal Gear Solid Three. Why? What's your problem? Did you play it at all? Uh, yeah, I tried playing it and <laughs> despised it and stopped. <laughs> Is it the controls? Or? Uh, it was well. So maybe the camera would have changed my. But like, I mean, like I've been better. saying, the camo and and that, like oh, all, the, all right, those systems. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to do any part of this. I'm done. Great, great story though. I believe Kasavin gave it what. 8.7 yes, or something? He, he liked it quite a bit. Snake Eater? I, I like that game quite a bit. Uh, Snake Eater, yeah. I didn't give it like a 9, 8. Subsistence, I think that. it was uh, even better. I don't know. I'm going to swap down Again, my favorite Metal Gear Solid game. Metal, so Metal Gear Solid game. Favorite Metal Gear game, Metal Gear Acid 2. I really wish what? I could bring that back out on like a uh, Vita or something. I Do you love know what Metal Gear Acid is? It's a card game, right? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, a weird fantastic. card game. It's not uh, I like so card games. games. Like stylistically, like just the, the art style and stuff. And Cell shaded stuff yeah, is really, really well done. Really neat. Uh, the randomness of the card drawing and everything and making your deck and everything like that. I thought that game was great. The second yeah. one especially. You're going to be able to do this the entire rest of the series, by the way. <laughs> It's a Paul Greengrass movie. <laughs> what do you like? Uh, Bourne movies. Oh, that's right. And yeah. um, the Somali pirate movie. Oh, the Captain Phillips thing? Yeah. Okay. Have you controlled your character at all yet? Nope. No. Nope. This is no. a short Metal Gear Solid cutscene. At any point, does he unzip his wetsuit and have a tuxedo underneath? Like True Lies. 
Uh, uh, no. I mean, you unlock a tuxedo yeah, in the first game. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, yes, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the codex looks different. Colonel, can you hear me? Colonel. Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the I think this one might have the quick speedy blow through if you want to. I think it's like, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank yes. God. Oh. oh, they keep the Japanese. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> Getting used to this here. Uh huh. It yeah. looks pretty good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Doesn't look as good as MGS2. That is true. Yeah. Which came out three years prior. What? Uh, All right. Nice little touch there. Oh, I guess this did come out like long oh, after MGS2, huh? Mm -hmm. The MGS2 trail, the first one that came out, might be the most like visually shocking yep. thing that that's I've seen it. in my life. Yep. We just watched it again today and shot like, that video. And good lord! At the time, it was just like, it how was, are they doing this yep. on anything that I can buy? Start <laughs> and A button. <laughs> There's no select button on that. Snake. <clears throat> You'll have to That's one thing that sucked about this is in two, you know, you could hold up a guard by holding the square and yeah. slowly like let go of square and, to, yeah, to back yeah. off. This you had, it had like a lock button where like you had to hold Z to lock it so you wouldn't shoot and then let go of A or something. Yeah, like it was stupid. Or B. Yeah, GameCube controllers, man. Do you have a weapon? You probably don't. No, I guess. OSP. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah, but I didn't know if it starts Bye. with the tranquilizer. Have fun vacation, Drew. Thank you. Yeah. I think B is your square or your H if you want to choke someone out. Oh, oh you heard me. You heard me. It's like a poetry class. Oh, the frame rate is back. Hey, ya, hey, ya. My frame rate is back. Oh, it's going again. Oh, God. It's oh, not going great. Oh, oh yeah, you have to roll here? now. If you're running and you hit oh. A. Is it A? Not A. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, oh. You can roll That's through. You can bowl That's through. That's not a hiding spot. <laughs> Take this. Uh, Hang on a sec. <laughs> Can I take this yeah. Yeah. Mm. Take up to the ground. Thanks. Uh, I'm in the middle of something. If you guys haven't seen an episode of uh, Metal Gear Scanlan, this is how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of this. They call him Mr. Stuff. Yes. <laughs> nope. Did Ow. not fall for that at all. No. Go hide in the water. Ooh. Yeah. What? Nope. You can't dive in there. Yep. I was open in the original okay. game. Ow. Is there a ration behind that pork lift? Good lord. Corner. Yeah. I'm surprised you like four. Oh no. I think that's the first I've heard you talk about it there today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like four. That's yeah. uh, ridiculous. <laughs> what? Uh, but, you know, <laughs> Is that I... a tactical combat role? I, I, I like the stuff that directly deals with this timeline mm -hmm. in, in, and not the weird, freaky Vietnam stuff. So like, you don't like any big boss stuff? No. Okay. Huh. I feel like you're kind of the inverse of the popular opinion on Metal Gear to where like three is, I, I'd say if you did a poll, most people would say three is probably the best. I am doing that a poll right be the now. one you hate. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's, it's already up. Poll is running. Oh, wow. I usually hear people say. Three I would have assumed that say people would say two. Two was just so polarizing. Oh, it's by the way, real, real quick. Drew, if you go up to those lockers, you can really? open it up. Really? Fuck, fuck two. Fuck two. I think two is it's the best. Y or something or X. Two establishes then, everything that makes it good. And then you can like press yourself in there and hide. <laughs> Take a look at bell curve on this uh, on this pole here. It's like right down the middle. Three wins by a significant margin. Yeah. And then two right. second place. Mm. Okay. These ground zeros is last. Zero is good. Somebody asked earlier if you think they're gonna box in Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain, and I don't see how that doesn't happen at some point. It'll that'll know. happen. Like the, the complete. It, it's always like five. why not at release. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, it, yeah. Would love to open that elevator. Like, I <laughs> can't remember if I'm supposed to do something else. Yeah, I think you just have to wait for the caution to go down, right? Yeah, just like, don't get caught. I mean, you might just want to hide in the uh, hide in the closet. There we go. So to speak. There we go. Ah. Uh, oh, it comes down. Mm-hmm. Hey, you gotta get in there without Whoa, a Whoa, jeez. Spawn again. Uh, hide yourself. Not yeah. that one. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Run in there behind him. You got it. Oh, oh no, that's a terrible situation. You got this. You, got this. Bow. you don't got this. Run in the elevator. Get out of there. Bye. 
Hi. Uh, the alert's going off. Hi. No. Where did he go? No, what? You, you there, can't. The alert, button or something? alert can't be going off. Fuck this game. How? <laughs> How? Oh, now you're bleeding. This yep. is the Metal Gear 2 That's thing. That's him. That's the legendary soldier. <laughs> hey! Perfect. I just want his body. Assault. I want Big Boss's body. <laughs> Have you seen the DARPA chief? I just this puddle is so quiet. I just want to lay down. I don't like his scream. Not classic Metal Gear. No. Well, this whole thing. It wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to be like their whole like we're gonna update it and make it cool. True or false? Yeah, MGS One has the best game over screen of all time. Snake so fucking lasers come oh, shoot you out. Might, you, might, you might paint the game over you on might, the screen. You might be right. Yeah. Yeah. Green Is lasers, man. Green Bomb, lasers the font was powerful. cool. If anyone have like four people screaming your name. See, I think mm. they put in the sexy lady thing mm. in these lockers too. Which, uh, you see, in Metal Gear Solid 2, some of the lockers will have posters of sexy ladies on the inside. Right. And if you press your face up to it, it makes kissy sounds. And if you call Otakon while Snake's looking at it, he will be masturbating in the codex screen. Yes. Not not like full body masturbation. His face will be like, uh, 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 and Otakon will be like, oh, there's no time for that. Snake, get back to the mission. Super spy, solid snake, <laughs> masturbating in lockers. Well, where else is he going to do it? He's on a mission. <laughs> It's true. I mean, he's never not on a mission. And the, yeah. He's got, he's got a big enough box. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's in boxes. You do have a gun. He picked one up. He shot, shot it up. twice, and he's like, "What?" So aim in first person. Uh, I think it's uh, Z. So if you hold him square or H or yeah, uh, hit him in the head. They'll, the head. They'll, they'll they'll go down instantly. Yeah, head and heart against their bloodstream quicker. Oh, these are trank darts. Yeah. What? You can pick them up if they, uh... <laughs> yeah, if you, uh... You can pick them up and shake them out for more If you unequip, too. yeah, you gotta unequip the gun and then do the same. Oh, okay. Now, uh, B or whatever your shoot button was. Yeah, and then drop them. Just let them go, yeah. They'll usually and pop. sometimes they'll drop stuff. And you can also hide bodies in lockers and stuff so other guards mm. won't see them. There you go. Whoops. What are our opinions on Metal Gear Rising? I am not a big fan. I, I never got to the end. It's really I, cool. I love I like how playing it fucking lot. ridiculous it is. Uh, but yeah, I don't like it that much. You want to see a little trick? Watch this. Press your back against the wall there. To where the camera shifts. E e any wall. Like that? Yeah. Now, press the shoot button. You, see, you can shoot like that, and then when you let go, you'll go back to a thing. If you don't want to shoot, I think you have to hit like, this weird lock button here now in this one. It's much Duh. better on PS2. This seems really complicated. <laughs> Hello. Right. Nice. You got him. Okay, there you go. Yeah. That trank gun is fucking awesome too. You will love that thing. It's pretty good. Yeah, so far. If you shoot the exclamation point above their head, uh, when it pops up, they get all like little stars above their head and get stunned. <laughs> it's a hardcore, serious military adventure. <laughs> tactical, 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 tactical espionage action. Ears. <laughs> Tactical ears. I can hear spin these ears. <laughs> ears. I hear high hard D. to say. I know D. <laughs> Collaboration. I'd say best villain ever, right there. Stick with Nick. That's your stance, Dan. That's my stance. He's behind the looking and the arms. What about Donkey Kong? <laughs> Donkey Kong? Yeah. He was mostly a nice guy when he looked back his whole career. But I mean, when he was a villain. <laughs> he was pretty good. What about Throw Cohagen? Barrels. What about who? Cohagen. Who? Yeah, Cohagen. Cohagen's a great villain. Codehanger? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what Code Hanger from? from Total Recall? Oh. That's right. Have you not seen Total I've Recall? I've seen it. I'm okay. just, I was a, either a kid or really drunk every time I saw it, and so okay. it's always confusing to me. Right. She gets body ripped off. I remember I considered that a divorce. And then I remember his eyes popping out of his head. And then the crazy lady's head. I want to pull him something out of his nose. That always weird to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of hard to watch. Running Man. Running Man is the underrated. The Running Man. Schwarzenegger movie. Wow, That yes. is incredible. Yeah. Richard Dawson. Snake. Yeah. So yeah. good. Yeah. Just the, Inspired casting. Yeah. Right totally. I, I've always Perfect. loved Richard Perfect. Dawson. Yeah. Yeah. Richard Dawson's amazing. And then... Oh, 
And also, like, all the bosses are just, like, video game... Yeah. That whole yeah, brawler that boss is a great is a great video game. I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion. And I've I've, I've always loved the concept of future murder game show. Yes, like yes. in games and anything. Yep. Just it's love it. Well, within like five minutes of that movie, that guy tries to escape the prison or whatever, and the neck collar just makes his head explode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, and All I don't right. like this movie. Yeah, this movie's okay. <laughs> Jesse Ventura. God damn. Yeah, that cool. Kodo. Uh, was a, was a wrestler? Who was it? You know. Football player or wrestler was a big bad guy in that, I forget. Jim Brown Jim was a uh, hothead or whatever. No, he says what a hothead when he kills him. Di it was Jim Brown. Fireball or something. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jesse Ventura's like Captain Jesse Freedom Ventura. or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesse Ventura. Be 18 hours left until their deadline. So how, how long did it take me to finish? 14 hours? I think so. <laughs> what if we had taken more than 18? Oh, sorry. It doesn't have any kind of real time. Oh, okay. No. Not that I know of. I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard of anything. Oh, like, oh well, hours. everybody died, I guess. <laughs> you know how to use your Soliton radar system. They did change Mei Ling's uh, voice, though. You're right. Hmm. This is when he's just hitting on every single woman that talks to him in this codec conversation. Yes. Maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Well, he was a young clone. <laughs> He was retired. <laughs> he wasn't young. He was like 35 in this. Well, that's in clone years. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I do like Commando. No one's looking at him right here and going like, ah, look at old Snake. Yeah, that's true. What's your opinion on the voice change for a Snake? Uh, totally fine with it. Because yeah. I've always loved 24, and I've always, when I try to sell 24 to people, I say, it's the closest thing to a Metal Gear Solid TV show you'll ever get. Jack Bauer is basically Solid Snake. And so when I heard that, I was like, oh, okay, so now Solid Snake is Jack Bauer. This is, this is great. I love David Hayter, but yeah, Keeper's amazing. I, I mean, I, I, I like Keeper Sutherland's voice, but I feel like they, they're not using him very much. In, or at least they didn't. In the in, early stuff, they're not. In Ground Zeroes, they certainly don't. Yeah, so it's just like this sort of thing where it's like, what? I just wonder if he will talk a lot in the other game. Doggy oh, would, everyone. or if it'd be like one of those. Th yeah, you. Would, yes, you yeah, would think he would. I mean, there's so many codec conversations and stuff. Uh, I, I hear he is insanely expensive, though. Yeah, so it's one of the things where it's like maybe they don't really. Maybe the, his well, contribution to the codec conversation is like, uh huh. Yeah. Go on. Metal Gear. Yeah. No, when we. Uh, God, if they have him say Metal Gear just like that, that'd be. <laughs> very and they just had him like do all the shitty dumb inflection that. Yeah. The series is Metal known Gear. for. Well, when we did, uh, so we did the Metal Gear 5 uh, Game Informer cover story earlier this year, and normally um, when we do stuff like that, like Kevin Spacey, we did the Advanced Warfare one, yeah. and we interviewed Kevin Spacey. And usually uh. if there's a big celebrity, we were able to get an interview with him. And we asked about Keeper. We're like, yeah, so can we run something online or in the cover story with Keeper? And they're like, oh no, he is insanely expensive. Like, they granted him, like, in this contract, he had like one thing he could say to IGN, and it was a super short thing or whatever. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm really excited to be playing this iconic character or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Merry Christmas, Xbox. Yeah. I remember Ron Perlman was really uh, pricey when we got him for Fallout New Vegas. Like, he kind of knew his value to that franchise. I mean, these guys were in movies. You know? Well, Ron Perlman's yeah, not a exactly set. a AAA movie star. Yes. Uh, no. Enemy at the Gates? <laughs> Dude, he's Hellboy. That wasn't in Hammer, but there was also. Yeah, the reason Hellboy. not yeah, Hellboy 3, though. <laughs> no, but also, around. yes, but I'm sure like he knew his value in that specific case. Yeah. yeah. Of just like, oh, you guys need me more than I need you. So, yeah. so he's got, he's got if I recall, I wasn't part of the whole. Oh. Stuff like that. This is what I heard. I will say in, in the newer Phantom Pain trailers, like Kiefer is really selling that voice pretty well. Mm. I don't know. I, I didn't buy it in Ground Zeroes. Yeah. Uh, or did I? Yeah. Mm. Question for Dan. Yes. Uh, from Silken Pistols Unloaded. Chat yeah. person. So Kiefer is playing Big Boss. Do you think uh, Solid Snake will show up in MGS5 at all? Mm. So the door is he will be open. alluded to. Sorry, I'm pretty sure Liquid Snake's in it because they show him in that trailer basically. That Eli kid. That's almost certainly Liquid Snake. So if Liquid's like 10 or 12 or however old he looks in 5, I bet Snake is somewhere. So yeah, I bet we'll see like a adolescent Snake. Which I guess Solidus... Yeah, well, I don't want to get into Solidus stuff. <laughs> he doesn't know that yet. Oh boy. You saw what Solidus looked like today. Yeah, he's in the trailer. Oh, really? The president of the okay. United States. <laughs> the elected president. Uh -huh. I mean, you would... I would vote for I, that. I would absolutely God. vote for that, man. He has two swords and a Dr. Yeah. Octopus suit well, and yeah. an iPad. Oh, you got my vote. What's his platform? His platform is fucking robot octopus arms. Fuck you. <laughs> like, all right, yeah, no, tick the fucking box. Let's. No ATM fees. 
Eight years, one per octopus arm. Let's go. <laughs> you only have two octopus arms. Yeah, but two octopus arms. has eight arms. And oh, oh, okay, all right. Wait, he's not decoy octopus, though. No, D Decoy Octopus is the lamest character in all of Metal Gear lore. Because you never even actually see him, except for when you think he's someone else, and yeah. then he just dies. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's so good about it. That is really yeah. funny, yeah. You didn't see that coming. Help. No, no. Help. You assume it's going to be a boss fight or Help. something. It's like a real, like, Help. Mission Impossible <laughs> moment of just like, I don't know, this was some other dude. Right. Here's uh, a little mind fuck to go it. straight. You gotta look for the rats. Remember, Miller's gotta tell you about the rats. <laughs> oh, right. I think you just go super straight here, and if you see rats, follow them. I thought I checked all these. <laughs> I don't know how much of this you more of this I can take. Yeah, yeah, me too. I have done my time. <laughs> <laughs> I did my tour. There's the rats. Yes. yes. Shoot them. Shoot the rats. Shoot Sleep. the Aim rats. Aim with the Z. Aim with Z. No, not. Yeah, hold in Z, I and then you it's use the stick happening. to point. Maybe you can't rotate in tight no. spaces like this. Oh, you scared one, then. <laughs> that guy seems on the up and up. Hey, I'm a guy. <laughs> Not your twin clone brother. No, it's McDonald Miller. What? <laughs> Donnie. Any kind of twin clone brother, his last name would be Snake, not that's Miller. True. It's I totally different. That. I'm, that's, yeah, conspiracy theory. Sorry. Fucking weirdo. Can I die here? Yep. Yeah, just. That's how the Shadow Moses infiltration ends. Whoops. <laughs> I suck at Snake. Ah. Then Summer came and. Summer came to Shadow Moses, like, what the fuck is that smell? <laughs> Probably snake. dead rats in the vents. <laughs> what if anyone has ever died there? It's just unintentionally? Someone had to have. Yeah. I just don't understand yeah. where I'm supposed to go. Yeah. Alright, well, All right. That's, <laughs> that's a twin snake. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Arousing. Bridging the gap between that and Metal Gear Solid 2 for yeah. you, Drew. <laughs> Tune in to Metal Gear Scaling for more. Two's you one. like what you just two's, saw? Two's 